Hello everybody and welcome in this new video and in today's video I want to speak to you about how you can publish a fix, a patch on a open source project. You know sometimes you are using or you have seen a nice open source project or just maybe you have seen a vulnerability or a bug even if you are not using it sometimes it's nice to fix it because this is actually the part of the, of the beauty of the open source projects is that everybody can contribute and help if they want to so uh, most of the open source projects actually are hosted on github because github is so good with the collaboration uh, tools Obviously, you have different uh, Git hosting services out there, such as Bitbucket and GitLab. However, GitHub also, um, in my opinion, is the best and is also really good for the collaboration um, tools and features. That's why uh, many, many open source projects have their uh, repos, repositories, hosted on GitHub. Um, in my case, so in this example, I will uh, take a podcast generator, which is a podcast UI, UI, sorry, a UI um, website service to um, publish um, podcasts uh, easily online, you know, such as um, different uh, podcasts hosting services. This one is to host your uh, podcast files easily on your web host and to give a nice UI, I mean a nice uh, website, um, web interface. However, uh, they code, to be honest, um, to, be on, to be honest, their code is not the best and I have seen uh, a few issues and here we will be focused on one issue, which is um, this one. So in auth.php, I have seen that um, they recently added a way to uh, secure podcast. I mean, with a password. So when you go to a podcast here, if I click here, I will see a login form, a prompt asking um, for a password. The password is stored in plain text. That's fine because it's just, it's not really a password. It's just a key, I mean, a kind of um, passcode. Someone would need to uh, be able to listen to the podcast. So this is not really, it doesn't have to be that secure. So that's okay, although it's much better to hash it still. However, the worst part is that they don't use street comparison. So with PHP and other um, loose type languages, when um, it's kind of weak typing language, so actually I will see you, uh, I will show you here, um, weak typing, I here, weak typing um, languages. Uh, so I was uh, searching for you to explain to you better. So actually weak typing uh, languages are uh, usually the language try to be kind of smart and try to uh, guess more or less the type. However, because it's not a typed language, um, the type is not strictly defined. Sometimes you have issues and such as um, JavaScript or PHP or even other languages, you have the strict comparison and the, um, uh, the losing Comparison. So losing comparison. Oh, beautiful. So um, here, for instance, you have um, equality comparisons and um, sameness, which is a uh, double equal, uh, which is the normal one, the double equals. Will actually, um, it's not straight. So um, I will show you the example why here it causes problem because you see they try to compare the password so the podcast the podcast password with uh, the password the person can type on the form however you can always uh, send raw data 
from the form um, with the inspection tool from your browser or even with Postman or whatsoever and you can send raw data which can be which could be a integer or maybe a, a boolean and if I use a boolean um, a string will be always true to true so I will show you here on the sandbox so I just did this so I can show it to you here it's the podcast password it will be um, let's say uh, A B C D E F and um, if I'm able to send raw data directly and it will be a boolean so it won't be converted to a string this one will be correct because um, you know we don't use strict comparison so um, true true is considered like a string is considered as true and this one we have uh, correct when is um, losing comparison and and incorrect when it's not when it's true comparison so here it's losing comparison comparison so using the as um street type um let's see here streak equality um losing vs perfect the lose and the strict comparison. So here you see that's why you have to be uh, very careful. That's just an article, um, but it's very important to uh, to make sure what you do. And that's when it's when the value is true. So for instance, here in our case with what they did. So actually, it was a feature request. Someone asked if the, if it was a, if it was possible to to add a login page with password for the podcast, and so which they did here. But you can have access actually to all podcasts simply if you send true as a raw data on the form, and that's a problem. And also before PHP eight. PHP would try to um, to cast a value. So if uh, the, the the password was like two 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 A B C, and um, what I would send would be two 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 as well. PHP see, sees this one the input password. Okay, this is an integer. I would try to cast to convert um, the two 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 A B C to a integer as well. So this one will be true. You see, it's correct. And actually, I forgot the T. And it's the same if I do 0, 0, 0. Uh, if I do 0, 1, this one. And here, if I do, um, I don't know, 0. Oh, no, sorry. If I do 0, A, B, C, for instance, it will be correct too. And even if the password is like, for instance, PHP, and the input will be the input password will be zero. Well, PHP will see as correct because again it will try to cast, so it will be like zero zero. It will try to cast the string to a integer, so it will convert um, the string to an integer. So this one is correct, but with PHP eight, they don't convert to integer anymore, so this one will become incorrect. However, if I do obviously this, if I cast explicitly to integer it will be correct still uh, so you see here php says actually warning pre-op uh, pre php version 8 if a string is uh, compared to a number or a numerate string then the string was converted to a number before performing the comparison and obviously uh, this was it meant that 0 to A was true. However, since PHP 8, they don't uh, convert um, the, the string to an integer anymore. So you have to be careful. And here, it's actually uh, the type comparison tables. So they show you a lot of different examples of types, you see. 
So now we are going to start and to um, to make a fix for this one. You know, we like the project maybe, and we just want to help. So how do you do? Well, on most of the Git hosting platforms, when you have an account, you can fork the project. So you just fork it and you fork to your um, to your account. In my case, I already did it, so it's here. Um, so um, I just forked it this morning, and it's available here. And now I just need to um, clone the repo. Why I have to do that? Because I don't have the permission on the um, organization. I'm not added there. So if I try to push a commit, I will have a deny permission because only um, the uh, admin of this repo are able to push in the repo. Um, mm. You know, you need an admin level because otherwise anyone would be able to change any repositories on uh, on GitHub, Bitbucket, GitLab, and so on. So that's why you are not able to push to this repo if you don't have admin permissions, but you can just fork it on your own account and then make a, um, a change and then create a pull request on their own repo. So let's see here in the terminal, I was just actually doing some uh, type permissions, I mean type checking on my terminal before because when you use the interactive um, PSP mode, interactive shell, uh, here I have, however, I do have PHP 8, so it will only um, work if I do like echo, um, that's a string, echo to 3, well, this one will be 3, which is 1. However, if I do um, street comparison, it will be, oops, it will be false, so string was three, it will be false. I, I, I will use the var dump, but oh, um, actually, I need to be again okay. So I will use the var dump, it will be just easier to see the result. So this one will be false. However, when you have the loose comparison, is true. You see, perfect. So I can edit to that one. So I clone the repo, podcast generator for my account, as you can see. And here, what I will do, I will just go inside of the project and I will open it with PHP Storm. So I just opened it here on PHP Storm and here I will just do a replay. So we replace this one to a street, um, street type comparison. Replace all, should be fine. I also need to create a branch. I will do, because by, by default it's master, as you can see here. So we just uh, do git branch fix um, version of login page, perfect. And now I can do checkout and I will check out its site. What you can do to be um, quicker, you can just do git checkout, uh, flag B, and then the name of the branch, so it will create the branch and directly check out inside of the branch, but that's just a tip. Um, so now, I will just do git status. Um, oh, I think I didn't replace everywhere, or maybe, Okay, so let's see, because here I just have one file, which is not right. So let's have a look um, where they did it. So it was here, but also in categories, oh no, in categories actually, oh, they, yeah, they will redirect you to auth page. So that's why there's just, one page to be changed, which is even better. Actually, this is a bit weird because they redirect you to auth.php page after they do a die with, you know, a value here. But you can exit after a header location 
this is a good practice because um, the loading of the page will be just quicker because we don't want PHP to continue to read the following um, after um, once, once we ask the browser to uh, redirect the page to auth.php, we don't want the following to be, um, to be executed. However, having a name like this is just um, useless because normally no one will see the, the message, the output. Normally you could just do die or exit. Usually exit function is a bit better than die. Die is a function, exit is a structure. Uh, function of the language and exit is a little bit faster too. And yeah, actually, die vs exit PHP. I think one returns, or no, I don't know if one returns a value or not. Exit does return always zero at the end. Uh, you know, there is those kind of, it's the same, but there are little differences apparently. Um, yeah, different. You know, now I think die is a alias. You know, the language answer is going to die. Anyway, um, yeah, that was just for the information. But the recommended uh, function to use is just exit. Um, and it's actually a bit nicer than die. Like die is a bit, yeah, anyway. Um, you know, it's like taste. Like, you know, some people like, um, I don't know, um, uh, broccoli and other we wouldn't like broccoli anyway so this one we can just commit to that and um, we can do a uh, use street oops uh, com when checking for um, password and here I will uh, leave a message a little bit longer with more details Perfect. So as you can see, I wrote a little message, but a little bit longer with more details. That will be uh, the first commit message. And here, basically, it will be the description. And when I will create a PR for it, so a pull request, uh, by default, um, the message will actually um, be, I mean, the description will be in the um, in the body of the pull request. So you will see, so here first I will open this one. Beautiful, and you see that's a message I wrote. I will also include some uh, screenshot. And there's also this code for the domain, yes. Um, okay, I just, just need to do this apparently. Uh, I will use this one. Yeah, of course, why not? Some, you know, some repository, they ask this, or maybe now it's part of GitHub. I'm not too sure. So I will take a screenshot of this one uh, to show the vulnerability, for instance. Two, two, two. Perfect. I will do 7.4. Let's do that one. And let's execute. Let's execute it. I can share normally oh, your name, code above. Let's share the code. Um, okay, sure. Uh, wow, well, this is hard to see. One, six, two. Oh, apparently, the code is not uh, correct. That's a A, but maybe it's an A, actually. The last, two, the last one. Um, oh yeah, point it also eight. So I will share that with them. Um, if you wish, you can play around here. And I will also um, show like, um, equals zero. I will do this. Beautiful. Uh, and maybe I will share that one too. Oh, I have to do again the check. 9461. Let's do it. Awesome. 
and I will just use bullet points um, here to the fall um, and here I will insert again another screenshot which will be here the latest one today at yeah, 1 p.m. Beautiful is my comparison when setting for um, podcast password or slot PHP. Uh, what else I can? Yeah, I will already create the PR. Beautiful, and the PR will be open to podcast generator. So this is my PR, as you can see. Um, yeah, beautiful. Uh, nice. So I will just maybe change a little bit um, this one and this one. Beautiful. Uh, perfect. What did I type? Indeed, when we sent tap against form also PHP. Beautiful. Um, amazing. Um, and what else I will do? I will also give this example. So like um, like podcast or password equal to uh, zero. Perfect, and uh, that sounds good to me. Here, as you can see, yeah, we sent that one as well. So that's good, beautiful. So I think that will be enough details. It's always nice to show why it doesn't work and why um, you know your fix is the right one. Um, but I think in this case, it's fine. Um, beautiful is actually uh, we always be three, so we could so we can bypass um, protected podcast very so could yeah could okay. Uh, it doesn't really matter the way you write, you know, you don't have to be uh, amazing with English. It's just, uh, you just have to mention uh, the, the issue and you just have to uh, go straight to the point. That's it. So amazing, you did it. Congratulations. You know, it's amazing. You maybe you did also you to your first contribution and well done. So see you in another um in another video and have good fun and um, I hope you will uh, you enjoy this video and you can always go to uh, my uh, github profile if you want to see a lot of um, of yummy uh, projects I have built see you very soon goodbye